This video will demonstrate the arthroscopic repair of a rotator cuff tear using a single row technique. The procedure is performed in the beach chair position. This is a lateral view of the right shoulder. A motorized shaver is placed through the accessory anterolateral portal and bursts are removed. Tissue manipulators are utilized to identify the location of the tear as well as the tear morphology. The arthroscope is then switched to the anterolateral portal in order to better visualize the tear. The motorized shaver is inserted through the lateral portal and the greater tuberosity is abraded to a bleeding bony surface. A punch is used to create a pilot hole and a double loaded 4.5 millimeter anchor is placed posteriorly adjacent to the articular surface. The arthroscope is then replaced into the lateral portal to better visualize the tear. A suture manipulator is used to reduce the tear and a curved suture hook uh, is used to pass a, a wire with a kite uh, through both the rotator cuff tendon uh, and any remaining tissue over the uh, biceps tendon. The uh, kite and wire uh, are grasped uh, and a suture shuttled through the tissue. The optimal location uh, to reduce the uh, tear is identified uh, and a separate inferior portal is established. The sutures are retrieved and the tear is reduced. The arthroscope is placed in the lateral portal and the tear again identified. The tissue manipulator is used to grasp the tendon edge and a curved suture hook passed through the full uh, thickness of the tendon. The uh, wire with kite is retrieved uh, along with one limb of suture from the previously placed anchor. Through this kite, uh, a loop of the suture is placed. The loop is then retrieved into the joint and through the loop, the tissue manipulator uh, is passed and the same limb of suture retrieved. This creates a locking lasso a suture which has been described previously by Dr. Laurent Lafosse. Both limbs of suture uh, have been passed posteriorly. While viewing from the anterolateral portal, a spinal needle is introduced through the lateral remnant of tendon. Uh, the corresponding limbs of suture are then retrieved in order to create a side-to-side -side repair. The arthroscope is placed in the lateral portal uh, and after punching, a second anchor is placed laterally in the greater tuberosity. Again, a curved suture hook is used to retrieve all three limbs of suture sequentially. The loop is retrieved and through it uh, a suture grasped. Again, this creates a, a locking stitch uh, which provides excellent resistance to suture pull through. After all sutures have been retrieved, a 5.0 millimeter anchor is placed through the anterolateral portal. The initial reduction suture is identified and both limbs of suture grasped. A non-sliding knot is tied uh, and these sutures subsequently cut. The tear appears anatomically reduced. All subsequent sutures will then be tied again using a non-sliding knot. The final anterior suture uh, is tied and the suture is cut. The tear appears well reduced and under little tension. Attention is then redirected to the posterior anchor and sutures. The lateral suture limb is utilized for the post of both knots. When both sutures have been tied, knots are cut and the tear is then again inspected. A view from both portals confirms that the tear is well reduced. Internal and external rotation of the humeral head reveals that there is no evidence of impingement. Microfracture awls are then used to create small vents for marrow stimulation to encourage healing. Thank you.